Hey there, welcome to the 17th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the on click event handler. Uh, this will allow us to do more complex actions with JavaScript because now we can take click input from users. Uh, there's also the on click event listener, and this is something that we'll cover in a later tutorial. If you know how an event handler works, an event listener will be extremely easy. Uh, so on click uh, event handler is just one example. We'll be also covering on load and on DOM load later on. And you'll see this again when we cover jQuery. Uh, in a future tutorial. So let's see what we have here. So I have four buttons set up uh, with name, city, change font color green, change font color red, and they'll each do different functions based on uh, the on click event. Uh, in my HTML, I set up four buttons right here, as you can see. Uh, in many other tutorials, uh, you would probably have seen that many people do the on click. Uh, event handler directly in the HTML. So it will look something like button ID name equals to on click equals to blah 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 function. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, in one of my earlier tutorials, in the intro tutorial, I said that we are going to keep our HTML and our JavaScript separate because it's easy to debug and it's easy to find issues wrong with your script. It's just best practice. So we're going to write everything in pure JavaScript. So let's grab the IDs of the buttons. So the document.get element by ID. Uh, the name of the button we're going to choose now is name. Uh, to declare an on click event handler, you just do uh, it's a it's a built in method, so you'll do name dot on click and equals to, and we're going to assign a function to it. Uh, again, don't worry too much about functions. This is something I'll cover in a future tutorial. All you need to know net, all you need to know for this purpose is that uh, the function is just a uh, a nameless function. It starts with the keyword function uh, in open and close parentheses and open and close curly braces. What we're going to do is we're going to ask the user uh, for a name. So let's do var name equals to prompt. Uh, feel free to check out my prompt uh, tutorial where I go over this. So enter your name. Comma, right? Uh, excuse me, semicolon. Uh, let's end that. Do update and run. So now if I click on name, it gives me a prompt. So I'll just this is enter your name, Nasmus. So nothing happens because we're not doing anything with this, but you can already see that the on click event handler is now doing something. I click on name, something happens. Uh, city and the other uh, font color buttons are not working because we haven't done anything with it. But let's do something with name. We'll do document.get element by ID, output name, and we're going to do inner text. Uh, you can do inner HTML it's, uh, for the purposes here. It's the same thing because it's just a little bit of word. And it's going to replace uh, the value that we input in the prompt. Uh, uh, into the span ID I set up here called output name. So if I do update and run again, do name, so this is enter your name, Nasmus, press enter, and there I go. It enters my name in red based on the uh, CSS here. Let's do the same thing for the city button. So I'm just going to copy my code because uh, that's easy to do. I'm going to copy the button ID here, enter your city, and it's going to be output city. Uh, let's change the var name. Uh, if you recall the tutorial where I went over um, variable scope, uh, I can I could have actually kept it as name, but just for clarity, we're not going to do that. So we'll do update run. So when I click on name, it does Nasmus. When I click on city, it asks me for something, and I do Boston. There you go. So your name is Nasmus. Uh, the city in which you live is Boston. Uh, these aren't doing anything yet, but let's do that now. We're familiar with the on click function. Easy. I hope you said yes. So I'm going to give you a little teaser into the style object. Uh, don't worry too much about the style object. I'm going to go uh, deeper into what the style object does, different attributes to it, different methods and properties that you can use. Uh, but for this, we're going to take an on click. So whenever a user clicks one of these buttons, it's going to change the font color of the name and the uh, city to green and then red. It's going to change the CSS dynamically. So we'll do document dot get element by ID. I called it change green dot style dot color. Ah, excuse me. You need to click it right on click. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So the function open and close curly braces, and then we'll do. Um, document dot get element by ID output name that's what we want to change dot style dot color uh, this is the syntax for changing uh, style we're going after the color attribute uh, equals to green 
and then we'll do document that get element by ID output city style dot color equals to green so we're changing just the green so we'll do update run click on name stay in Asmus uh, city is Boston and click on green and look voila the color changed to green red is not going to do anything now but let's just copy and paste our code and just change the change green to change red change the green to red you can use hex code if you want change it to red now update and run now we have four on click events on in our document now so again Nasmus Boston and now if I click on change font color green it changes to green and then red and green and red and green so I can keep using this uh, for as long as I want without having to refresh or without having to uh, click run run again so this works so change font color green red green so if I click on green and I enter something let's say I live in New York City there I go changes pretty dynamically so there you go this is uh, the on-click event handler. Later on, we'll look at the on-click event listener, uh, which is uh, which it, which is probably the preferred method of doing something in the later versions of JavaScript. Uh, I'll cover that in depth. If you understood this, event listeners will be extremely easy. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching. Uh, remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Have a good one.